Good morning, everyone. My name is Cedric H. Abel, a student of MA53, ME Final Year Project Study, and my research title is called Twin Weld Hand Tractor Using Junk Yard Materials. Introduction. The Philippines is primarily an agricultural country. Most citizens live in rural areas and support themselves through agriculture. The country's main agricultural crops are rice, corn, coconut, and sugarcane. But despite all these resources and the land, the Philippine farmers still got shortage in producing our needs. Mechanization plays a vital role in enhancing sustainable food production, thereby boosting food security in the Philippines. This research aims to design and fabricate a small-scale prototype of a hand tractor as an alternative for carabaos and clothes. This study should be able to help small-time farmers to farm effectively and efficiently. Specific objectives. To fulfill the general objective of the research, the following specific objectives must be achieved. First, to fabricate and design the hand tractor which is efficient and effective in flowing the field. Second, to do a various testing and evaluate the performance of the small-scale prototype. And lastly, third, to compare the performance of the prototype to Carabao and commercial factors. Significance of the study. The results of this study would give small farmers the choice of having cost-efficient and effective flowing machine that can topple the production of using Carabao for flowing. The findings are also significant to future researchers who pursue the development of tractors and innovation of the agricultural farming in the Philippines to further sustain the needs of the nation. Methodology. Research flow. So there are six research flow in this study. We got first information gathering, second machine design, 3D printing and fusion 360, third convincing of the materials and fabrication, fourth assembly design, fifth design gathering and data testing, sixth data analysis and evaluation. Machine design. The researcher designed the two-wheel tracker using computer-aided drawing software programs like SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360. Design considerations were established, such as selecting from different belt drive ratio and chain drive ratio. The main aim of the design is to have a tractor that can manage to have features in the same level as a commercial two-wheel tractor. These features refer to higher rate of soil, soil removal, longer, longer operations, fuel efficient, and durability. Please keep in mind that the tractor is built from limited parts. So the design shall rely on the materials whose dimensions are available. Engine. So first, we get the engine. The engine used for the two-wheel tractor diesel, diesel tap engine. Model DY23-2B from Subaru Rubin brand. It uses light diesel as its fuel and has a maximum power output of 4.2 horsepower. This engine was selected for the design due to being a diesel type, single cylinder and weighs 15 kilogram only. The engine is attached near to the center of the tractor body using bolts and angle bars as constraints. It has tank capacity of 3.2 liters and uses a recoil starter for startup. Recycled concase. So the recycled concase was extracted from a Honda XRM125 motorcycle, which is widely available in repair or junctions. This type of motorcycle is famous in the country during 21st century, which explains the abundance of discarded engines. The concase contain shaft and gears which can be utilized for transmission. It serves as a gearbox to reduce the RPM and transmit the power to the wheels. This welded to the body frame and constant using additional bolts. A clutch from the handle of the tractor is connected to the gearbox to disconnect the transmission whenever it's necessary. Belt drive. Belt drive serves the transmission system from the diesel engine to the recycled concase. A synchronous or timing belt was chosen as the type of belt since it is more capable of handling higher torque and is not prone to slippage. The goal of the researcher is to determine the best speed ratio of the belt drive from the combination of available recycled timing pulleys. The design arrived to a comparison of three speed ratio, one is to three, one is to 3.5, and lastly, one is to 3.75. Each of the pulleys are installed with keys to the respective shaft of diesel engine and recycled concrete and can be removed when necessary. Chain drive. The chain drive has the same function as the belt drive. It is more durable than the belt drive and it is a better choice 
for application where dirt can get into the transmission system. The chain drive has a pitch of 12.7 millimeter is good and is a single strand chain. Researcher will choose from combinations of sprockets in the respective speed ratio. One is to 3.5, one is to 3.75, and lastly, one is to four. The aim of this selection is to attain a tractor speed that is suitable for human walking speed. So next, we got the fabrication. Fabrication process of the tractor involves cutting, bending, boring, threading, and fastening. Metal angle bars and hollow cylindrical steels are cut into desired shapes according to the design using both bench circular saw and hand-held metal saw. Certain parts such as truss for the front support of the tractor body are bended on each end to keep a solid connection using bolts and welding. All the metal bars and hollow cylindrical steels are welded together to form the tractor's body. Angle bars are used as constraints for both the diesel engine and the recycled trunk case, disabling any linear or angular motion. So here's a picture of, a, uh, of the tractor, so body frame, brake lever, and clutch level. And uh, lastly, the whole design of the homemade two-wheel tractor. So here are the specifications of the diesel engine. We got the model, Subaru, Ruben DY23-25, its type, the boring stroke, piston displacement, compression ratio, and so on and so forth. We, saw, we also got the bit of materials. So we got here the diesel engine, recycled concrete, steel angle bar, single steel plate, so on and so forth. So we got a total cost of 6,350 pesos. Next. So in testing, after the fabrication is done, the testing will start. The homemade two-wheel tractor will be used in the field to be tested how efficient it is compared to Carabao and commercial tractors. Under 10 trials, the tractor is tested in the same distance of 10 meters in the same soil type and depth. The duration of flowing, the said distance will be recorded and used as basis for computing the velocity. On the other hand, fuel consumption is determined by conducting 10 trials at five minutes each. The volume of the fuel consumed will be measured by a dipstick. A working Carabao will also be used to hypothetically gather data to compare with the tractor. As for commercial tractors, the performance data will be based from the past studies conducted within the 21st century. The data collected are tabulated and analyzed for comparison in terms of performance and rate of soil removal, fuel consumption, and overall cost. This was in discussion. So we got the transmission. So to cover the load requirement for various types of soil, the motor must be adjusted to acquire maximum torque at a constant power. This is done by adjusting the governor in the motor. As specified in the model manual, the maximum theoretical torque that can be achieved is 2.14 kilogram meter at an angular speed of 1,000 RPM. The power is transmitted through three types of transmission. First, the belt drive, gears, and lastly, the chain drive. While the gearing system is remained constant in the, in the design process, both belt and chain drive are selected as independent variables. Different speed ratio were cons considered depending on the available sizes of timing pulleys and sprockets. The aim of selecting the speed ratio is to achieve a linear speed that falls between 0.65 and 0.8 meters per me second, which is the average walking speed of a human being. So here we get a table of the angular speed. First, we get a table of table one angular speed of wheel and RPM using belt and chain drive combination. Second table, we get the linear speed of the wheel in meters per second using belt and chain drive combinations. And lastly, linear speed of wheel in KPH using belt and ch chain drive combinations. So we got uh, our optim optimal, optimal Result we got 26.190 in table one, a 0.713 in table two, and lastly we got 2.5, in table three. Performance of the small scale prototype. Ten trials were conducted to find the average velocity of the two wheel tractor. Having 10 meters as distance for testing, the two wheel tractor achieved 13.6 seconds as the fastest record. That that led to a velocity of 0.735. While it had the longest time record of 15.65 seconds, 
The 10 tires average to a time of 14.379 seconds and a velocity of 0 0.697 meters per second, which is 0 0.016 meters per second slower than the theoretical value. So we got here the a table for the velocity of the homemade tractor in 10 trials and the performance of the homemade tractor, which is the width of the furrow, depth of the furrow, its velocity, area flowed per hour, volume of soil flowed per hour, and lastly, time required to flow one hectare. So here we got another table, the theoretical fuel consumption of a homemade tractor. So we got the torque, the motor RPM, and theoretical fuel consumption, and so on and so forth. And we got it into the 10 trials, which is tabulated. Next, comparison of the prototype to Carabao and commercial tractors. So the capabilities of Carabao and commercialized tractors are based on past comparative studies, while the information for the cost of purchasing them are taken from the updated catalogs and reports. The performance is in terms of operation, is the amount of time to flow an area of one hectare. Average values are compared with each other and assumed to have been used in the same soil type. So we got here another table. Table seven, theoretical fuel consumption of homemade tractor. So we got the total cost of a homemade tractor, which is 8,620.76. A carabao, when you buy it, we got no fuel consumption and cost operation, we got 42,000. Commercial 20 horsepower two wheel tractor, we get 52,000. And a commercial 40 horsepower four wheel tractor, we get 370,000. So here is a figure shows a simple bar graph representing the amount of time in to flow one hectare of land in a single operation. It can be seen that there is a dramatic difference between using a single carabao and a tractor when flowing. Meanwhile, the difference between homemade tractor and two wheel tractor is 1.99 hours which is insignificant compared to the performance of a carabao. It is understandable and easily predicted that a four-wheel tractor will always have longer, lower operation time due to the fact that multiple tillage can be installed in its higher horsepower compared to a two-wheel tractor that can, on, can only flow a single line of land. So here's a table eight bar graph representing the length of operation of each equipment. So here we get the initial cost of owning an equipment. So the homemade tractor is mostly comprised of recycled parts such as crankcase of a motor, timing pulleys, and sprockets. It dramatically reduced the total cost of fabrication by 85%. In contrast, commercial two-wheel tractor. The homemade tractor can be further threatened by adding more bars to handle more load and costs won't still come closer to the commercial two-wheel tractor. The initial cost plays a vital role of easily being easily available in pressure were chaseable by farmers with, this, with smaller land area. So cost operation is essential for comparison since each equipment varies in terms of power and fuel consumption. Higher power output means higher fuel consumption in grams per kilowatt hour. But the final amount of fuel consumed depends on the length of time required per operation. The difference of in cost of operation between the homemade and commercial two-wheel tractor is large because of their power output. The motor selection of homemade tractor is made such that the engine can sufficiently handle the load of the flowing soil. So here we got the table 10 bar graph representing the length of operation of each equipment. Next, we get the total cost. So homemade tractor less than uh, very close to 10,000 pesos. We get the carabao. So very close to below 50,000 to wheel, just merely above 50,000 pesos. And for the four wheel tractor, we got way above to 350,000 pesos. Conclusion and recommendation. Conclusion, the research aimed to create an alternative mechanical device to alleviate the problem of small farmers that concerns flowing using Carabao. Based on the quantitative analysis of the comparison, it can be concluded that the homemade two-wheel tractor is a substantial and economical alternative to Carabao. The results suggested that the homemade tractor is far superior to the performance of a Carabao and less expensive compared to commercial two-wheel and four-wheel tractor. By considering the utilization of recycled materials, 
An alternative to any type of labor tool such as carabao is always viable in both financial and physical aspects. Recommendation. The researchers encourages the innovative minds to pursue and develop the existing homemade tractor. This can be done by considering the effect of flow geometry to the rate of soil removal. Shapes of flow, such as disc and boards, are currently used and can be basis for the enhancement. The performance of the tractor can, can be further improved by testing different soil depths and types. Additional materials for strengthening the body frame of the tractor at minimal cost is highly suggested. Including the suspension system in the tractor can lessen the damage over time and will improve its lifespan. Recycling metal materials by melting them to mold a specific part is also feasible for optimization. Utilizing advanced technologies such as 3D printing can replace an existing part and lessen the overall weight of the tractor. So that's all, and thank you.